The House of Helga Hufflepuff is probably the last one you'd expect to give rise to an evil wizard. But through a collection of notes left behind in Hogwarts Legacy, we learn the dark and tragic tale of a Hufflepuff wizard who slaughtered thousands. Eunan Wood was born to non-magic parents in Scotland sometime in the 15th century. From an early age, he could tell he was somehow different. In an effort to fit in, he picked up the family trade of hedge trimming. Eunan would soon realize he possessed a rare ability. An ability to control blackthorn bushes with his mind. He used this unexplained talent to create intricate and elaborate designs. But if Yunan had any hopes of this earning him more favor with his family, those hopes were quickly put to rest. Instead of embracing his unique gifts, the intolerant Wood family was infuriated by his magical ability. He eventually received a letter of acceptance to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, but this only served to further strain the growing family tension. Wood was still able to go and attend Hogwarts, however, and there he was sorted into Hufflepuff, a house known for its hard work, loyalty, and acceptance. Here, he also met a witch from one of the most well-known pureblood families in all of the wizarding world. Except, Artemisia Black wasn't actually a pureblood. Artemisia's conception was the result of a casual fling between her magical mother, who bore the Black family name, and a muggle father. Even hundreds of years before Phineas Nigellus Black, the family was unyielding in their pureblood beliefs. As such, Artemisia was ostracized from the Black family. She didn't fault her mother, though. She believed herself worthy of the Black family name even as a half-blood. Instead, she placed the blame at the feet of her Muggle father. In Eunan Wood, she found an unexpected ally at Hogwarts. The two bonded over their shared frustration with Muggle parentage. And even though Eunan had two Muggle parents, Artemisia still saw him as an unwilling, innocent victim of Muggle impurity. This backstory is contained within the first entry to a four-part series referred to as a horticultural history of the Blackwood Maze. There are four of these notes in total, and they're hidden within five mysterious hedge mazes scattered across the Scottish Highlands. Even though the specific spawn locations are set, the mazes aren't always guaranteed to appear. In fact, they can even disappear within moments if you venture too far away after one spawns in. The maze patterns themselves are also random. Once you do manage to locate and trigger one of the mazes, making your way through it will reward you with a legendary gear chest and also a note. These notes tell the story of Yunan Wood. And somewhat strangely, even with five maze locations, there are only four notes to be found. You can spot another in the northern part of the map near Hogsmeade Valley. In the second note, we learn of a deepening friendship between Yunan and Artemisia. Their magical prowess continued to grow during their time at Hogwarts, but as they grew closer, so too did their disdain for the Muggle members of their families. The flames of hatred began to bleed into Yunan's magic. His once beautiful hedges started to turn vicious and volatile. Yunan and Artemisia were eventually married. Both shunned by their families, they took on a new name and became Yunan and Artemisia Blackwood. Curiously, they invited their magical family members, as well as the non-magic ones, to their wedding. Wood's family likely believed Artemisia would come with a considerable dowry, and they were certainly unaware of her equally troublesome family situation. The Blackwood Union did not result in a hefty payment for Eunan's family. Artemisia's dowry was not a pile of gold, but a lone medallion, bewitched with the Gemino curse. This curse was a twisted version of the doubling charm, which could create an exact replica of an object. For years, wizards debated whether copies of an item should hold the same value as the original, but over time, they noticed the copies would tarnish more quickly. As such, duplicates created by the charm or curse were considered to have little or no value. The Gemino curse was an effect that triggered a doubling charm the moment an object was touched by someone other than the spellcaster, and only that original caster was capable of stopping the duplication which is why this curse was frequently used as a security measure. Wood's muggle parents would have been completely unaware of this curse and its duplication effect. They were driven purely by their greed and ultimately decided to attend the wedding. You can find another maze for the third note near the South Sea Bog and Coastal Cavern. Here, the story of the Blackwoods takes a dark turn. 
Yunnan created his most elaborate maze yet to celebrate his marriage with Artemisia, claiming it was inspired by the Greek wizard Daedalus. The Blackwoods invited guests to search the maze, enticing them with a promise of valuable riches contained within. As the story goes, however, the witches and wizards in attendance realized something was amiss. A number of them stayed back and refused to enter the maze. Others, including many of the muggles, weren't so fortunate. Those who entered were never seen again. Even muggle members from their own family lost their lives that day in the maze. The specifics of their demise remains unknown to this day. Perhaps the maze was so intricately designed that the muggles lost their way and could never escape. Or maybe Blackwood's uncanny ability to manipulate the Blackthorn bushes violently ensnared the wedding guests. Either way, this dark day was only the beginning to a reign of terror caused by Blackwood and his mazes. The elaborate maze he'd designed for the wedding remained in place for years. As many as a thousand Scottish muggles were drawn in by the promise of gold and riches. But like Blackwood's wedding guests, none of them ever returned. Legacy, of course, takes place in the late 1800s. So if Blackwood was born in the 15th century, why are we still running into the mazes all these years later? That question is answered in the final note, which details an even more sinister turn in the last chapter on the horticultural history of the Blackwood Maze. There are two remaining spawn locations for the Blackwood Mazes in Hogwarts Legacy, one near the Poitier Coast and another further south by Craig Croftshire. In the years after their wedding, Eunan and Artemisia continued to live in Stonehaven. All the while, the Blackwood Maze remained in place, luring greedy muggles to their death. The Blackwoods would eventually give birth to a daughter they named Lysandra. As she grew, though, her parents became concerned. And in a cruel but perhaps fitting twist of fate, their worst fears were soon confirmed. You see, Lysandra didn't possess any magical abilities or talents. It didn't take the Blackwoods long to realize that Lysandra had in fact been born a squib. Yunan shut off from his family because of his magical ability, Artemisia never accepted by the Black family due to her muggle father, and now Lysandra, ostracized and unaccepted by the Blackwoods because she was a squib with no magical ability. The tension and frustration only grew between Lysandra and her parents, eventually coming to a head when she was 16. Lysandra and her mother had a particularly nasty fight. She ran away from home and sought a band of muggle witch hunters. Any love or affection for her mother long gone, Lysandra led the witch hunters straight to her mother. Early one spring morning, they showed up at the Blackwood home. And at nightfall, Artemisia Blackwood was burned at the stake. Yunan's whereabouts during this time remains a mystery. We don't know why Lysandra only chose to turn her mother in, nor do we know why Yunan didn't stop the Muggle Witch Hunters. What we do know is that after Artemisia's death, both Yunan and Lysandra vanished forever. The malevolent maze that had claimed the lives of so many Muggles disappeared shortly after the two vanished. But this wasn't the last time witches or Muggles would ever see a Blackwood maze. They continued to appear, but now in random locations, showing up only for a short time then disappearing as quickly as they had come. They also continued to trap unsuspecting muggles and magical folk alike. In the years that followed, Wizard Kind tried to make sense of the Blackwood mazes, which were still appearing hundreds of years after Blackwood's disappearance. Herbologists eventually concluded that the mazes, wild and untamable, were somehow still tied to the dark will of their former master, the evil Hufflepuff, Eunan Blackwood. If you enjoy these types of lore videos, check out the one on Azkaban next. I also have to give a big thank you to all of our channel members who help make videos like this possible. As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.